Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have an Echo Park warehouse sale unboxing and I'm going to show you guys the side of the box. Um, I had to open up like one part of it just because my address is all over the other part. Um, I have not yet peeked inside. It is not a mystery box though, so it is just like legit stuff that I ordered. Um, but it's Cartabella Echo Park because they're sister companies. Um, so I'm so excited to dig in here. I don't remember what I bought anymore. So this is going to be fun because I never remember. I buy too much apparently and I could just never remember what I get. So let's have fun figuring this out together. Again, if you guys want to find out about the Echo Park Warehouse sales, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I always, always, always post when they're having the sales on Instagram so you guys could always check it out. Um, and I also just tell you guys how I save and I'll kind of just walk you through that here. Um, also, ooh, did I get some washi tape? Okay, I guess I did. All right guys, let's get started. So in order to get the best deals, um, they do free shipping if you're spending over $50. They have deals on like the collection kits and stuff. Like you could buy five for a certain amount or four or whatever it is or 10 for $50, for example. Um, then they come out to like $5 a piece. And then also if you're a club kit member, then you also get a discount. And then on top of that, they do send you a coupon code when you get these orders. And I just save them for like the following next time. So I also had a coupon code. So I had like a bunch of discounts in one. Like I had the discounts that are built into their sale. I had the discounts from my being a club kit member and then I had a coupon code. So I got my collection kits, the 12 by 12s for like $4.33, I wanna say. Okay, so it tells you prices, but not really because I saved on top of that. So like it says my collection kit. Um, well then I got two of those, where's my individual? Um, I, I don't know. Their invoices are totally weird. Like it's saying one collection. Oh, I, it's saying it's six dollars and thirty cents, but I did save a total of forty four dollars almost. Um, so yeah, I just I don't, I don't know. They don't tell you exact prices, but I know it was like four dollars yeah. and something. So I got a lot of stuff here for me to show you guys. So I got this um washi tape. It just says Merry Christmas. I thought this is going to be great to add to um, Christmas cards this year. So I got that. Um, I got this stamp set. I liked the sentiment. Um, well, the sentiments on here. So you have Tis the Season to be Jolly, Merry and Bright, and Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. That one was my favorite. And I do like how these other ones, you could just stamp on with one color and there's no coloring to be doing here, um, which I really like that because I don't want to be coloring stuff. And this is from the Echo Park Twas the Night Before Christmas collection. So I got that stamp set. Um, I got some six by six paper pads. I got Witches and Wizards. I did have this before and I used it up. Um, so now I just have another one. I'm gonna do a quick, quick flip through for you guys. Okay, so for the Witches and Wizards, this is your quick flip through. It's double-sided paper. Um, I used this in my Harry Potter folios, which I could link down below for you guys, but I wanted to make another one. Um, so I just picked that up because it was nice and cheap. I got the, what is this? Welcome Easter six by six paper pad as well. Figured I can make, you know, a nice little album for Easter when we get around to it. I mean, I probably, maybe I'll craft it in Easter. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Um, but they're all double-sided. I like the small designs because it's six by six paper. So yeah, they had this as well. So I just picked it up. I think I have the 12 by 12, but I didn't have the six by six. Um, I got this. This is the frames and tag for the Let's Lumberjack collection. Um, did I get this? Did I get the whole collection? I don't think I did. This is like a camping collection. I don't even have this paper, so... I don't know why I got this. Maybe I have the collection kit in here somewhere, but I guess we'll find out. But this is the frames and tags. It's like a camping, outdoorsy, kind of lumberjack um, paper collection. And it's just red and black and white. 
Um, I got this one. This is the Echo Park Winter Frames and Tags. And this is what they look like. I do have this collection kit somewhere. Um, but it's cute. It says sledding is so fun. Winter memories, so much fun. Cold hands, warm hearts. Hot chocolate, warm and cozy. Um, or war war says warm up and get cozy. So those are really cute. I do have that 12 by 12 collection kit. Then I have the Echo Park, my favorite Christmas frames and tags. Can you guys tell I like frames and tags? Um, and this is what they look like. I thought these are going to be really good for junk journals, whether I have the collection kit or not, which I'm not sure if I do for this one. But it, this one looks like greens, reds, a little bit of black, um, but craft also for this one for this collection. Um, I got the Magical Adventure 2. Also a six by six. Don't worry guys, I did get some 12 by 12s also and you know, I was getting the best deal. So I got more than I needed. But then again, I really didn't need any of this paper. So we just got more and I definitely didn't need more Disney, but here we are hauling Disney. So this is some of the Disney paper, Magical Adventure 2. I do like this collection, very cute. So there's that one. Then we got lots more six by six paper pads coming your way. We got another Disney one. This is Magical Birthday Girl. Um, so I'll quickly show you that one. It looks like I have Magical Birthday Boy as well. Oopsies, hold on, taping the paper. Okay, so this is Magical Birthday Girl. So it is Disney themed just for a girl. And I do like how they had um, how they have some of the solids. There's a light blue and a pink one. Um, so the light the light blue is on the back of tags and that pink one, what was that? The back of Okay, so it's like that. So I might Pro or I probably will use that for these um, the solid papers. I like when they include that in the 6x6. Six six. They do come in handy. Not too many, just a couple of sheets of those, but I do like when they do that because I made a super cute album and I needed those um, solid sheets. I mean, I guess I could always try to go digging to my through my stash, but I don't always have things like the matching coordinating papers and I don't have enough just like random solids to always match everything. Um, here's the Magical Birthday Boy. I like that this one has also solids in here, which is, you know, the same as the Magical Birthday Girl, just for a boy theme. I mean, if you don't use the boy papers or the cut of parts where it says boy, it's also just regular Disney. So this one could really go either way. Then I love this one, Coffee and Friends. I think I have way too many of this collection kit or and, and just collection in general. I think I might have like three collection kits. I have a bunch of single sheets. I have some of the six by six. I think I have like three or four maybe of, the, of these Coffee and Friends six by six now. I have so many and I still have yet to make anything with it. I do love it. I love it so much, but I just haven't had time to make another coffee themed one but I do love this collection a whole bunch so that's the coffee and friends um it looks like I got another witches and wizards so I'm not going to show you guys that one because I already did I got a hello baby it's a boy um I still have yet to craft anything with my baby paper I've been meaning to still gotta make my nephew's album I'm so delayed <laughs> Was supposed to make it for his one year birthday that was in May. So yeah, we're we're a little delayed here, guys. But I do have the Hello Baby It's a Boy, six by six. I just gotta make myself a bunch of bases for six by six paper and just tackle a bunch of these. Um, I also got a baby girl. So this baby girl and baby boy are going to be the same. They didn't have the Hello Baby It's a Girl. They only had the Hello Baby It's a Boy, which is the one I just showed you. But for this one, they had a boy and a girl. Okay. So they're going to be like the same papers, just obviously in different color schemes. Okay. So here's the baby boy. 
Oh, there's solids in here too. I love it. Love that there's solids. Very cute. So that's baby boy. And then here is baby girl. It looks like there's some somewhat different designs, um, but overall very similar. Like this one's got bears and then this one I saw some like swans and things, um, but still like very, very similar. Um, so easy to work with and make two at a time. I did get some pocket pages. This is um, three by four pocket pages. How am I gonna use this? I have no idea, but I thought I would get some. So they measure six by eight. So six by eight. Um, so I got those and I also got this one that has a four by six down here and then two three by fours at the top. So I got some of that. They were on sale, so figured why not. Oh look, we got another coffee and friends. So what do I have now? Like six of these mini paper pads? No clue, but I got a lot. Um, I got the I Love Halloween frames and tags. I have a couple of sheets of this paper that I just recently got in another haul video. Um, so I have some sheets of this and I'll probably use this, use some of these with it. But um, candy, something. Um, it was a dark and stormy night. Halloween fun, little pumpkin, spooky good times. So just cute little frames and tags for that collection. I did also get the Halloween Market. Um, this is something I tried to order in their last warehouse sale for the 6x6 six six paper pad, I think. Um, or maybe they had the 12x12 12 12 collection kit, but then they didn't really have it because they ended up refunding me for that. So that must have been like a mistake on their part, but I really did want it. I wanted the Halloween Market. Um, but I got the frames and tags. It's just orange and black. I figured it'll go with something else as well. So it says Halloween. A spooky night, happy haunting, happy Halloween. So just um, other ephemera bits that I could always include with things. Here's the family night frames and tags. I know I got some of this collection kit. Um, it looks so fun, like family fun game night. Oh my gosh, it looks so fun. So I cannot wait to create something with this, especially since I know I wanna be doing like game night in the future once I have a house, but um, I wanna be like hosting game night. so. I think that would be super duper fun. Um, and then, I mean, that's not a long way from now, but who knows, who knows when. Um, and then there's this that says Snow Much Fun. So that's the collection. Um, and this is also just frames and tags. I think I have this collection kit as well somewhere. I have a lot of collection kits, just not enough time to use them all. Okay, so the rest of these are all 12 by 12 collection kits oh my gosh I got so many guys okay we got a lot to go through so I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna show you guys everything so anything I've showed you before I'm probably not gonna show you guys again I'll just link you guys I don't think I showed you guys this buffalo plaid I showed you like a pink version so I will show you this one this one's just plaids oh my gosh I did get the little jump lumberjack collection oh my god that's exciting Okay, so we got this, and there's two of each, so smaller and slightly bigger on the back. Okay, so I think that might be the same for all of these. This one's a little darker, yeah, and bigger on the back. But these are just good to have on hand. They're always good for your Christmas papers, especially if you need, like, one more sheet, and here you go. So there's that. I love, love, love the white and black. It's my favorite. We got another green one. And that's it. So that's the buffalo plaid. It's just plaids and somewhat smaller and larger designs on the backs. Okay, here's the little lumberjack um, because I did get the frames and tags, which is exciting because now I got the collection kit too. Don't mind the train. I'm gonna talk over it. I gotta get this video done. Um, it's a long day and I gotta go to bed soon. Um, so the great outdoors, I wasn't even gonna get this, but I was trying to meet my 10, you know, collection kit minimum or something. So I did pick it up. Um, three by four cut aparts. The bravest thing you can be is yourself, wild and free. So you could see that this is like a camping, outdoorsy kind of collection. Also great for 
a gift for a man in your life. Like, I think that's really nice. Um, could be manly. Um, these papers. So there's this plaid. Um, some axes. What's the plural of axe? Axes or just axe? I don't know. Four by four cut aparts. I'm not an English teacher. <laughs> four by four cut aparts and here's the back like some mountains then you've got like the stars and this is like constellations and then this is the other side don't no, don't particularly love this side but it's fine um don't love this either it's just like tree stumps i guess i love this side though so i'll definitely be using it for that side um there's this one Brave little man, happy camper. This could be good for a little boy too. Little, oh, cause it's a little lumberjack. Oh my God, I get it, so cute. Um, born to be an adventurer. I mean, it doesn't have to be for somebody little, but it's just cute. Love this plaid, wish it wasn't on the same as the four by six cut aparts, but um, there's this one with this. This one has a bunch of like paw prints of different creatures that you would find in the woods. And then the back side. This would make a really cute Christmas gift too. Not that it's Christmassy, but it's got the reds kind of like Christmas. So even though it's like a camping outdoorsy one, I mean, this would also just make a cute Christmas gift. And then this one. And then here are the stickers. I love that the collection kits come with stickers. Love it, love it, love it all. Okay, let's move on. I got Hello Baby It's a Girl and Hello Baby It's a Boy. Now I got the collection kits. I did show you the six by six for the boy, but for the collection kits, I had the girl and the boy. And I do have this already, but um, I got more. I think I had most of these collections that I'm showing you guys, but it's fine. So here is Hello Baby, It's a Girl. Okay, we got our three by four cut aparts, our baby's first, first bath, first smile, solid foods, rolling over, crawling, first steps, and first word, and a bunch of other cutie patootie cut aparts. Then here's the backside with some florals. Then we've got like this little toy thing that you would hang over a crib, and this one of them says baby. And then I do really like the stripes on the back. Just a bunch of letters on this side and a yellow like background that you could just kind of use with more patterned paper just to kind of like, you know, make them go together. Bunch of words, it says brave, little deer, tiny but mighty, like cute little words. I love these stripes though too. Then we got four by four cut aparts. Snuggle is real. Yes, it is. And then here's the back side with like a clouds and a moon. We've got some onesies on this side. Then we got polka dots, pink polka dots. We got um, clothes hanging on a clothesline. And some stars on the back. Four by six cut aparts and a little bit of two by twos right down here. But we have um, two vertical four by six, three horizontal, and then some two by twos. I like when they do that, like kind of mix them together. Um, and then little like foxies on the back. That's a really cute design, um, but I'm going to want to use the cut aparts. We've got like this bassinet. And then these florals on the back side with like a lilac y lavender color. These um, strip cut aparts. A baby girl will fill your life with wonder. I love that. Um, and polka dots on the back side. Then we've got these thingamabobbies. I think those used to be like to hold diapers closed. Um, and then this plaid on the back. And then these little creatures, our little furry friends, and some other plaid design on the back. And then for the um, stickers, this is what we got. Okay, I like how these are smaller, so they're perfect for decorating, like they're not um, really big at all, which makes it perfection. So that was the Hello Baby It's a Girl. Now I'm sure it's comparable to the Hello Baby It's a Boy, because they're very similar. Some like patterns are different, like we didn't have teepees in the other one, but 
I think the layouts are the same um, for the most part. So this is a three by four. This looks very um, similar to the other one. So let me just show you guys. So those first ones are similar, just two different um, animals. The next two, those are a little different. We still got the mountains in this one and the stars, but this one's different. So those two. Then the bottom one, we have Stay, Cle Stay Clever Little Fox and Little Wild one. Um, so yeah, they're fairly similar. Um, then the back side, that other one had florals. This one's got teepees. We did have this as well on the other one. And we had the stripes. We had the alphabet. And this one had other stripes the other way though. Okay, so this one looks like that. Or I think we had stars on the other one. I can't remember. Um, this one, maybe this one has different stripes. Okay, so the other one had pink stripes. And this one has like a wood grain. Four by four cut apart. Why does my light keep dying? Blue and white stars. Then we got onesies. Love, love, love that plaid. The colors are just so beautiful. Um, the onesies and clothes on a clothesline with the toys on the back. Four by six and two by two cut aparts. Stars on the back. Moon and clouds. This light is killing me. It keeps dying. It's getting hot. Oh, well, the light is. Um, this background. Then there's this one with this plaid. Then this one, trying to go fast before it dies again. The polka dots, the furry friend creatures, the backside, there's another train, and the sticker sheet. Okay, still got lots to go, so I'm trying to hurry up. Okay, so here we have the Snow Much Fun collection by Cartabella. So it is textured paper, and I did get the um, the frames and tags to match that. So here is this. I feel like I might have already had this, but maybe I didn't. Um, I'm going to just try and flip through these kind of fast because I don't have a lot of time, and this video is getting really long, as it always does with my warehouse sales. So we're just going to quickly flip through everything, that way you could get the gist of the paper. Ooh, love this. Love my cut aparts. Now it just feels weird, because now it just feels really quiet. <laughs> A little mountains. Big scene, like a ski thing. Leafy bits, mittens, snowflakes, random sized polka dots, snowmen, and then there's snowflakes on the back. And then here is the sticker sheet. So there's some of these that are a little bit bigger. The snow day is pretty big, the snow, but all still fairly usable. Oh, I love paper, guys. Why do I have this addiction to paper? Okay, I got this one called Celebrate Autumn by Lori Whitlock, Echo Park. Ooh, I saw a plaid. All right, those little, like, pots with, like, um, uh, fall flowers and pumpkins next to it. A beautiful plaid. Acorns and leaves. Another plaid. Some fall words with some acorns. And it's like a burlap printed paper. Then we got a burlap background here with like all this like pumpkin farm kind of stuff. And then some stripes on the back. Um, fall creatures. Another plaid. Then we got leafy bits. Oh, trying to show you. Yellow background with like leaves um, in there as well burlap background with leafy bits and apples that kind of looks like a teacher paper here um florals um leafy bits owls 
other leafy things. Um, three by four cut aparts. Oh, fall, it's nice to see you again. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, and then this is like an orangey one with like some leafy things in there. Four by six cut aparts. There's two um, horizontal and two vertical, or three horizontal actually, if you consider count that postcard. There's a three by four cut apart up here and then just like a random one. Um, and then floral on the back. I've never actually seen it designed this way. That's interesting. But I feel like if this is six, couldn't they just have put two three by threes here? I don't know. Okay. Um, four by four cut aparts. And in the back. This is another one I wasn't gonna get, but I was trying to reach my minimum. So I picked it up. And this one's got like some words and stuff, um, some little creatures. Well, they're kind of big. These creatures are fairly big. They're much larger than the truck down here also. <laughs> I find it so weird sometimes how they're like not proportional, but to each their own. Okay, then I also got this Under the Sea collection. Um, I have the six by six. I think I might have some ephemera and stuff. I have a couple of single sheets, but um, I didn't have the 12 by 12 and it was on sale, so might as well get it. Don't know what I'm making with it, but it's uh, it's cute. Maybe for some kind of pool party for my nephew. I don't know. Maybe for his first vacation trip. No clue, guys, but um, here we go. What would you guys use this for? What kind of vacation would you doc or what would you document with this under the sea paper? Would it be a birthday for a baby boy? Would it be um, a trip, like a vacation somewhere? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, I love these stripes. They're like different with like patterns. Oh, those are kind of cool. Um, but I do also really like this side too. <laughs> um, fishies. This would be so cute to document like snorkeling. Like the kid doesn't have to be like a baby or anything. Even if they're like 12. This would be so cute. Stripes. Um, crabs, um, submarines, this other pattern, another submarine, and a school of fishies. These, um, like strips here, and Nemo. <laughs> um, well, I guess it's a clownfish, but Nemo. Um, starfish and then like these fish scales and then here is the sticker sheet okay so that's under the sea then I have celebrate Christmas here and I did get two of these I put the other one on the side already um, but this is celebrate Christmas I think I had the cut aparts or the frames and tags no this is my favorite Christmas but they go together they look like they do um, so celebrate Christmas, you got Santa. Ooh, I gotta use this. Ho ho ho's, deck the halls, poinsettias, um, this snowflakes and snowfall, more snowflakes, um, leafy or trees, um, plaid, whatever this is called, mistletoe. Um, Farm fresh Christmas trees. I mean, you could use these as cut aparts, but I'll probably just use it for this side with larger snowflakes. Um, Christmas presents. Oh, I like this side. Um, deck the halls and Merry Christmas ornaments. And the back side. You got these red Christmas trucks. And these trees. That's that's a lot. Um, they say joy, love, peace, believe in Christmas, and. I could totally see myself using one of these as like a ephemera piece, especially if I have like a scrap leftover where I could cut one out, but I'll probably have to use this side. Um, this is the countdown to Christmas. Days one through 25 with some other random bits in here. Um, oh, but I love this side, the candy stripes. Three by four cut aparts here. And ooh, that's a trippy, trippy but cool. Um, four by six cut aparts here. You've got two, three, four, four um, horizontal and two vertical. And then the back side is this plaid. You've got this one with the strips that you cut out. 
and snowflakes and then we have the sticker sheet Ooh, these are kind of these are quite big santa's big the truck is big they're all big <laughs> they're fairly big for these um stickers so that was celebrate christmas by Lori whitlock okay guys down to my last couple of collection kits to share with you guys i did get two of each of each of these so i got two christmas delivery and two family night as well but i'm just going to show you guys one obviously so this is christmas delivery by cartabella i am pretty sure i showed this to you guys on my channel already but i'm going to show you guys again um just because it's just this one um we've got some four by six cut aparts with like these words down here and like cut apart strip um back side says airmail stamps north pole um this floral one with a green background love this plaid I think the Michael's Recollections, um, the Hot Buys has like a plaid very similar to this, but this is textured paper because this one's Cartabella, um, like a snowfall one. These ones you could cut out, um, they're like little tags that you could use or just some cut aparts. And there's like a houndstooth print on the back. Snowflakes, love the red stripes, three by four cut aparts, love it ha that it has like a wish list. Um, then we got these snowfall like dot things, more plaid, red um, paper like with some kind of design, um, Christmas presents, snowflakes, um, buffalo check, um, says Christmas cards, mailbox, special delivery, this is a full size a uh, thing but I mean this would look cute in the junk journal because it's, it's like writing space but I'll probably just end up using it for the plaid design um, these strips cut apart strips and the back side if I could turn this oh my goodness um, it's like a green leafy thing then you've got this floral and um, wood green and then here are the stickers. Pretty sure I've showed this to you guys, but it's fine. You guys get to see it again. So I did get two of those. And then the last one, I was so excited about this one because I've just been having my eye on it for a while now. <laughs> it is called Family Night, um, also by Cartabella. So it is the thicker textured paper, but it just looks so fun, guys, to craft with. Um, so... There's just a bunch of different activities here, but I'll probably use it for this side. I don't like the super busy papers. This is uh, also not my style, but fun to have um, cut aparts or labels, depending on what kind of game you're playing. I'm sure we'll play bingo and um, maybe scattered word game, kind of for Scrabble. Um, but, I mean, some of these I've never even heard of. Um, we've got this one. It's kind of like, I guess, more vintage -y. Is this more vintage -y? I don't know. But it's still so fun looking. I mean, you could use it for more of these, like, plain patterns as well. Movie night, like, for sure. Family night. Love these. Good times. Like, Twister. Love that. Um, then you've got Domino's. TV. Super retro old style TV thingamabobbies happening there. Um, we've got, what are these called? Um, uh, uh, don't know. Um, vinyl records. Those what that is. Um, don't know what this is. I don't know guys. This is what I saw somebody create an album with this on Instagram. I can't remember who, but, um, I've been wanting the collection ever since. It just looks so fun to craft with. So I did get two of those and you guys saw already that I did get the frames and tags as well. Um, so there's this. Family means no one gets left behind or forgotten. How cute. It's like Ohana means family from Lilo and Stitch. And then they say no one gets left behind. Um, I don't know what this... Oh, it says pop? Oh my gosh. Do you guys call your soda soda or do you call it pop? I call it soda. I know some of you guys call it pop. Oh, here's the back side. forgot to show you guys that. It's like a board um bingo cards and the back side Ooh, love that all the goodies pizza popcorn chocolate chip cookie sandwiches hot dogs ice cream a pattern on the back um this one not really sure what this is 
I think it's like a movie schedule maybe. Not entirely sure, but I'm just quickly looking at it. Um, and then the back side, this is letters on here. And then here is the sticker sheet. All right, guys. So that is everything for my warehouse sale. This is a super long video, I know. I'm sorry. I tried to make it go fast, but I wanted to show you guys everything. So that is everything. I'm going to go now. I'm tired of standing here. Got to edit this. Okay, I will see you guys in my next crafty video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Let me know which was your favorite collection and make sure to follow me on Instagram so that you guys know when there's another warehouse sale and okay now I'm gonna go okay bye